Today we're going to talk about change in your life, in multiple areas in your life, and how can you uh, make that change in a positive way. And there's one thing you can do that's going to help to kind of keep you accountable and kind of be something that's going to fuel yourself to continue to be the positive change. Um, yeah, you know, some people are naturally positive. Like me, I am always on the bright side. I'm always chipper. That's funny. I wake up, I yawn, and I know it's going to be a great day. I am naturally a positive person. That's just part of my personality. But there's other people, and it's not. It's 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 just part of your personality. It's okay to be more of an analytical person that just kind of analyzes things or skeptical. But you do have to decide when you look at that glass: is it half empty or half full? And if you can start looking at things from the positive light, you're going to have. Uh, a better influence on those around you, you're going to have an easier time hitting your goals, you're going to have an easier time sustaining your change. And one thing you can do to kind of give yourself that accountability is tell people or tell yourself that I am going to be that light. I am going to be the light that influences other, that kind of paves the way, that creates that change in my life. And if you are accountable for other people, so if you're a spouse, or if you're a parent, if you have other people behind you that are responsible for you, you really do have that responsibility to be that light, that leader of your group, your family, your business, um, and start creating that change. So when you look at yourself as that light, that means that you are being watched and you have the responsibility to teach and to really set that good example. So that's where the multiple integration of things can happen. So you can be that positive light on people. You can look at how you eat. They're going to be watching you. They're going to be looking, you know what, did you join the gym? Did she get a workout in? Uh, you know, did he go for the walk? Did he run? So be an open book. Be accountable to, to other people. Um, but let yourself kind of be the person that is now going to be the influencer of others because that puts a responsibility on you. That means when you go out and you're ordering off the menu, you know, do you get the cheese sticks or do you get the salad as the appetizer? Because people are watching you. So look at yourself as that power to influence, that power to change. Give yourself the responsibility to be the one leading the mission for those around you. Because when you start doing that, you are going to have a much more powerful change on yourself. And you want, then you're going to start influencing your family, your friends. Family and friends influences the community. The community influences the world. So start with yourself and put yourself up on a little pedestal. Give yourself some responsibility. If you do that, you're going to have a much farther reach and a much more powerful change in yourself as well.